Hi guys, so continuing on in my series of videos talking about WWDC. <laughs> um, um, basically, um, I did a little introduction video. If you haven't seen it, you can always watch it. Uh, basically, just gives you an over overview of the event. But um, I'm going to look at some notes. I've got some notes. I'm not going to cover everything, but I'm going to make each little video reasonably quick. And this one's going to talk about Watch OS. Um, so, one interesting thing that caught my eye uh, with Watch OS is now you can have uh, your apps uh, in little kind of cards, I guess, where you swipe through the cards, but you can press on the watch and then move your finger to the side and it will flick through them quickly. Now, in a video years ago, I suggested this. <laughs> um, so maybe Apple's watching? I hope they are. Um, if they want to give me a job, they can, pinching my idea. Um, but, you know, if I was Android, I could sue them. Um, but basically, the idea is that you, uh, my idea was that on, a, on an iPhone where you've got multiple screens, you press down and you push to the side and it flicks through each screen comes, you know, basically reduces in size slightly and flicks through a bit like a card. Um, so yeah, another idea bites the dust for Simon, but that's alright. Um, we battle on. I would suggest other things and Apple can pinch those in the future. Um, so basically, the major thing with the Apple opera, uh, the, the watch operating system is that apps launch, boom, instantaneously. Um, and I've heard them talking about this since the, the keynote address. Basically, what they've done is they were very, very conservative on um, battery life and things like that. They wanted the watch to work and get, you, get all your battery life um, for the day. So they were very conservative on... Um, how people were going to use the watch and they just they just didn't want to um, have it doing too much so um, now that they've got more data on how long batteries last and people the way people are using the watch um, they're able to speed everything up and and just add a lot of rat la, 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 can't even spit it out ram in reserve um, so apps literally launch straight away and their idea is if it takes longer than two seconds to look at it and do what you need to do then it's too long um, so that's going to be great because I get so frustrated waiting for an app to launch that I just take my phone out of my pocket. Um, so that's a really good step with the watch. There's, the watch does some things really well. That was one of the real big issues with the watch. Uh, new faces is great. Um, uh, there's a couple of things here. New faces, yeah, okay, I really want to be able to customise them even more um, than we can at the moment. I'd like other people to be able to develop faces, all those sorts of things. So there's a couple of new faces. They have one with Minnie Mouse where you can change the color of her dress to ma watch, match your watch band and things. But um, what they had is quick uh, face switching where you can swipe and switch the face. Now this is good in terms of if you're kind of going out um, and you know, you're going out and doing a sport activity and you want to have the computations, the things in the corner of the screen, the quick app launching or the, the, the little things that sit in the corner. If you want to change those for a particular kind of situation, maybe you're at work, and you've got some you know, apps for, you use for work, maybe you're at sport, you've got some apps to use for that. Um, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, so uh, yeah, gonna be really interesting to see um, how that works. The one thing I'm interested to see with the new app launching is I have my watch always set that if I raise it up, it's always the watch face. You can have it set to be the last app I was using. Um, what I'd like to be able to do is, is have a situation where I can go, at the moment, I want it to stay on this app because I'm using it at the moment, a little bit like it does with the fitness app. But later on, I don't want that to stay, I, have to, I don't want to have to go in and change that setting later on. Just for now, I want it to stay on that app rather than going back to the watch face. I don't know if they've introduced that, but that would be great. Um, SOS on the watch, um, fantastic feature where if you hold down the button, it will dial emergency for you. So if you're in distress and you can just, if you, you know, maybe you've only got enough strength that you can only reach the button, um, maybe you've been injured or something like that, um, you hold down the button, it will dial emergency. If you're on Wi-Fi, it will do it over Wi-Fi or it can do it over your cellular. It will also um, message with your location all the people on your medical ID. So uh, that's a, a great feature. You can do activity sharing. So you can monitor your activity, but you can share it with other people. So um, you can have your friend's activity, you can look at it throughout the day and say, hey, hey slacker, you need to get up and walk around, you haven't been doing anything. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, also the activity app with wheelchair users. So one of the things with the activity app is standing up and uh, for one minute out of every hour. Well, obviously people in a wheelchair can't do that. So what have they done? Instead of time to stand up, time to roll. So you can get up, uh, get up, I said it again, didn't I? Um, but what you can do is 
come away from what you're doing um, rather than get up from what you're doing and, and um, move around in your wheelchair and get yourself moving. Uh, they've also done a lot of stuff in terms of tracking the way people use their arms to prepare the wheelchair so they can record the app better, uh, the activity better. Um, Breathe is another one. This is a new app and it's basically about <sighs> relaxing um, and just trying to kind of calm the mind, a bit like meditation. Um, so I'm actually really interested to have a look at that and see what it's like because um, uh, you know, uh, meditation can be a very effective thing and probably something that I should get into. Um, another really cool thing, uh, there's heaps of other stuff, but the one that I'm gonna finish with is uh, with the apps, uh, sorry, with the message app, is that you can scribble a reply. So often you can't dictate a reply, you're in a situation where you can't, but you can scribble letters on the screen and it will turn it into text and then it will send it for you. So um, that is a very, very cool feature. So the watch, lots and lots of um, improvements um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it runs on what is a, my watch, a first generation um, Apple watch. Um, so yeah, obviously we may see new hardware in line with the launch of this software later on in the year, but it'll be interesting to see how it runs on my version. So that's uh, watchOS, I'm Simon from Techmo Life Video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, comment, like, subscribe. All right, see ya.